In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my preferred way to play man coverage in Madden 21. Now, if you don't know why we're talking a little bit about man coverage today, it's primarily due to the fact that what we're sharing with you is a simple formula for defense, five sets or five steps to success on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. The first step for success is to be able to stop the run. So we want to have a very effective run defense. The second uh, step, for, or step for success is to be able to play solid match defense, to have a match defense or a base defense that we can go to. The third third set for success is to have zone drops, a zone defensive scheme that we can adjust to. And then today we're talking about the fourth step, and that is man-to-man -man coverage. How do we maximize our man coverage and make it very, very effective? And so for that, we're going to dive into today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I think it's great that you're coming by the channel, and I just want to encourage you to subscribe. We do videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Like I said, it is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies in the community. Okay guys, so man coverage is a very, very fun defense to play. Um, and we're gonna share with you kind of a, a little bit of a tip or tutorial tactics how to do this. So what I like to do is I like to move these flats. Now, occasionally I'll start with them on 15. Sometimes I'll have them on 25. Sometimes I'll even have them on 30. Most of the time they're either 15 or 25 whenever I'm running man to man coverage. Um, and I actually like to start with them in 15, but you can put them at 25 to be a little bit safer. Okay. And the defense we're going to be covering in today's video is the cover two man as well as the Mike Blitz threes or the Mike Blitz zero. Those are two man defense that I, that I really, really like to run um, in these situations. So the first one is man coverage. So what we want to do is we want to go down to cover two man. We want to shade or uh, we want to press coverage. Then what we're going to do is set everything else exactly the same. So we're going to shift our D-line to the right. We're going to use this middle linebacker here more than likely. And then now this is a really, really important little tip here when you're running a man coverage. You want to make sure that your user is free to roam. So we want to take that guy that's blitzing, that blitzing linebacker, and we want to man him up on the circle receiver. As you see here, this is a very good bunch tight end style defense because of where the zones are actually going to be and where the man coverages are actually going to be. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to put um what what i like to do is i like to take i like to essentially roll the coverage okay due to the where everybody's at and all this stuff you could do all multiple different facets of this this is just one starting point so what we're going to do is we're going to roll the coverage to where we think they're going to basically threaten us deep so i like to go ahead and put the l1 l1 corner um or the safety on the left side into a curl flat and then from there i'm going to shade coverage inside you always want to shade inside and i'm going to shade coverage underneath as you see right here it's going to turn that purple zone into a curl flat or a hard flat we're going to put the defensive end on the right side into a three rec hook zone and then what i actually like to do is because of the fact that we know the tight end is going to be kind of a tricky defender to defend in man coverage i actually like to go ahead and just put that corner in a cloud flat just like this right here and then I'm gonna basically roll the coverage to the inside third. So I'm gonna get be able to stop post routes. I'm gonna be able to stop like tight end corner routes. I'm gonna be able to stop pretty much anything that they do. The delay fade's not gonna work because I have a three red hook zone and I've pass committed. And what you're gonna see is, you know, again, just basically solid man-to-man -man coverage across the board. So you see here, if they run that little corner route to the tight end that they really like to run from this formation, I've got a guy in that position to be able to stop that. Um, the only thing that they can really do to their tight end is they can basically run him on a little route across the middle. Um, for example, like if they run him on like a little tight end post route um, or something like that, you know, then that might be an issue. But you'll see right here again, we've shaded inside. This is exactly the coverage. So now maybe they go to something like, um, you know, PA boot over, they, they do the, the delay fade stuff. At the snap of the ball, you're gonna see that that three rec is gonna basically sit right on that delay fade area. If they try to drop that, we've got everything else manned up across the board. Let me go over um, the second man-to-man -man coverage that I like to call, and that's just traditional two man under. This is if you're just trying to get a little bit of a read on your opponent and what he's doing. Um, this is a, a very you know safe defense to call, but basically we're just going to man up the circle guy just like so, and then we're gonna drop a three rec hook zone. I always like to have a three rec hook zone 
zone. They do some really good stuff against like slants and things like that. And you'll see right here, you know, PA boot over is, you know, it's not that great against this coverage. You have very good ability to be able to hang with pretty much everything that they're going to do. So that's another way that I like to run it. The fourth or the third way that I like to run this main coverage is to use Mike Blitz O. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Mike Blitz O. I'm going to set up the defense just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of my linebackers into flat zones and I'm going to basically shade coverage inside and I'm going to shade coverage over top. The only route that you really have to watch out for in something like this is, you know, things like these little smart routed corner routes, post routes, these, these can be a little bit problematic, but as you can see, it's pretty solid coverage across the board. This is a great defense. And honestly, people have kind of gone away from running man coverage, but I think that there's actually some very valid reasons as to why you would want to get back into it a little bit. So hopefully this video gave you a couple of tools in which you could use man coverage. And again, I want you to start thinking about defense in the format of five different types of defenses. The first one is run defense. The second one is match defense. The third one is zone drop defense. The fourth one is man defense. And the fifth one is your pressure packages. So how you can send different types of pressures at your opponent, blitzing, and things like that. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire 335 wide defensive guide that literally breaks all of this down in depth for you, step by step, it's actually very simple, but it is also very, very effective and very, very in depth. If you want to learn how I run the best defense in the game, it's the exact defense that I would use if all of the money was on the line. You can get that defensive guide in the description it is just $15 and again it just walks you through step by step how to actually run the defense thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to text me my number is 208-218-6900 and again if you want to get that 335 wide defensive guide it's available in the description for just $15